turn to the next person and say, welcome to the house of God. And, and if the person is looking good, say you're looking good. And if it's kind of, then say try next time. <laughs> welcome those of you watching us via internet. This is a church we have fun in. Hallelujah. Praise God evermore. that seeds will be planted that will be enduring that will cause people to continue in your presence in faith, in strength in endurance with only one thing in mind that your name will be glorified I thank you so much in Jesus name Amen set you up. You don't know. God has placed you where he wants you to be for him to start his work. It doesn't matter where you are. Yeah, I was born in a poor family. God has set you up. 
I was born in a dysfunctional family. God has set you up. Because that's not your end. That's only the beginning. God has set you up. Oh, I was born in a family which has riches and I'm set for the rest of my life. God has set you up. I was, I, I, I was, I was born in a village where there are no lights. God has set you up. Because that is one step in his crazy move. You may not feel God, but he's there. Don't be deceived. God was the one who set it up to begin with, and God is with you. God is looking at it, and he is saying, well, I'm at the place where the killing is beginning, and God is looking at the older nuggets that he's got in and said, <laughs> you haven't seen the end game yet. You haven't, you, you, you're only going through the journey. You haven't seen the end game yet. So, like my old friend in the film, we say, Tam cool. Where are the tidy people? Mo, uh, I said, Tam cool. Me bleda, Tam cool. Hallelujah. So, so, so there is a journey, and the Lord is aware of where you are at. You know why you've not given up? Because God has planted some enduring dream in you that will not fade away. If for no other reason there's a dream in you that says that you are bound for heaven. That is why the devil looks at you and says, why is this guy not giving up? When the devil is done and dusted, what he wants is to discourage you from trusting God. He's done it for the last 20 years in your life and you still come to church. Ah, bah! Won't you give up? No, you would not because a nugget called a dream has been put in you. That is why the business that you started, you will not give up on that business because there's a dream. Yo, I know you've tried it 17 times. Even the 18th one is some way, but you still are not giving up. Times seem to be very difficult in the, in the way you were set up, but you are still not giving up because you know that God has placed a nugget of a dream in you. Let that dream prevail. pause and just bless God. Just bless God. That in the midst of that, if I can leave only one thing in your spirit today, that God is in charge and every crazy move is in his hands. Come on, somebody bless the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. Look back at all the crazy things that are happening in your life and understand that God is in charge. We bless you, O oh God. We magnify you, O oh God.
will I trust him? That's what makes the devil mad. That's what made the devil mad about Job. He said, Job thought that he was fighting, the uh, devil thought he was fighting Job on a battle on his outside. But what he didn't know was that the thing was on the inside. And what is inside you? Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The devil can do all he wants on the outside. The greater thing, the greater dream, the spirit of a living God that is in you will keep you standing tall. You are renewed day by day because something on the inside is working on the outside. And the devil thinks that something on the outside should work on the inside. And that's his plan. But if the inside remains because you know that even when you ask and you haven't received it, you will persist and you will trust God. It doesn't matter what. Amen. Amen.
When you pray, something happens. God will take the nugget of that prayer and make something happen out of it. Your prayer is not in vain. When you raise prayer, things happen. If only your eyes could see what happens when you pray, you'll be amazed.
Hallelujah be to Jesus. This morning as you sit in the presence of God, the almighty God himself is visiting you with his strength, with his peace. That thing that is in your life, that, that pillar in your life, that seems not to go away, that, that which has brought you or brings you heaviness and, 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 and stress and anxiety and darkness. As you sit in the presence of God this morning, as the Spirit of God visits us, that is being rolled away. You have come to the throne of grace where you obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. You have come to the place where you can lay your bed in. It says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. This morning, enter into the rest of God. Let the rest of God come over your life. Look at whatever it is in the face and say, peace be still. Mention the name of whatever it is and say, it is well, because Jesus is with me. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is your strength. And even as you sit in the presence of God, may that joy begin to bubble in you. Oh, I say, may that joy begin to bubble in you. May that joy begin to bubble in you. In the name of Jesus. Whatever it is, fear not. Whatever it is, stress not. Whatever it is, be not anxious. For the Lord your God is on your case. Did somebody hear me? Did somebody on this side hear me? The Lord your God is on your case. Did somebody here hear me? The Lord your God is on your case. The spirit of a living God is visiting you this morning. Come on, continue to worship God. We worship you. We worship you, Lord. In surrender unto God. In surrender unto God. Let God do what He wants to do today. Voices that need to go up, go up. Don't be restricted in any way. Don't be restricted in any way. Jesus. Oh God, we were Jesus. Arise in this place.
Praise God evermore. 